Hello and welcome to iOS Location Services. I'm Keith Welch and I'll be your instructor for this course. In this lesson, we're going to give a brief introduction and an overview about what the course is going to be about. The use of locations and mapping has become a much more prevalent feature in apps than ever before. The app might be a social app in which people want to be able to find their friends in a particular location where they are, or perhaps a commerce app that locates hotels or restaurants or stores in the user's location or nearby, or perhaps just simply provides directions to a location within the app and providing mapping services. iOS provides APIs for locations and mapping, and they provide a couple of different mapping APIs, and we'll talk about the trade-offs and features involved in those. We'll review those options, and we'll demonstrate them and the features that are available. So we're going to start by looking at the options for mapping, and then we'll talk about geocoding. You can't get too far in mapping without geocoding. Geocoding is the process of taking a street address and converting it to a latitude and a longitude, and reverse geocoding is the opposite, taking a latitude or longitude and converting it to a street address. The mapping APIs typically want to work with latitude and longitude, but humans want to work with street addresses. So we need to know about geocoding and how to work with that in order to work with the maps. Then we'll take a look at the MK map item object, and that displays the TomTom Tom map, which is the current iOS map. And we'll get directions with that and take a look at some of its features. Then we'll start working with the location framework, and we'll get the user's current location, and we'll calculate distances from how far they are to another point on a map. And we'll also work with MapKit, which is the older style iOS map, which is a Google map. And we'll talk about the different map types and how to annotate the map. And finally, we'll work with EventKit. And EventKit can provide reminders to a user. And in our case, we're going to be looking at those reminders in relation to locations. So for instance, an app might remind a user when they're near the grocery store that they need to buy milk or something like that. So there are a lot of neat topics that we're going to be looking at, so let's get to it. 